Welcome to a new daily top ask credit video. Today's topic. Without revealing your age, what video game did you play the most? Roller Coaster Tycoon. I can still hear the merry-go-round music. Ha 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 the stock laughter will stay with me forever. Edit, well now I've got to include a link right? Yes, the original where you could blow your rights up or make a roller coaster just end and send the guests flying and falling to their death. And hiring enough workers to keep up with the vomit but I was an adult playing it, my kids played it too. Or let people in, then delete the entrance and exits. Mwahaha. And you could change the guests names to certain things and watch them go around and do stuff like take pictures, wave, etc. And you could click on the ducks to make them quack. Age of Empires 2. That's a trick answer. You could still be anywhere between 12 and 42 years old. You're all 30. Weird name for a video game. Roosecape. There he is. It's Tezima. Goldeye 007 on N64. Beating Goldeye on 007 mode was one of my proudest video games achievements. Edit, 00 Agent mode was the hardest level, not 007. 007 was unlocked after beating 00 Agent. That game is maddeningly difficult in 007 mode. I beat it too, but it almost beat me. Spyro the Dragon. I recently purchased it and am replaying the trilogy. Spyro is so cute. Spyro and Crash Bandicoot were my shit when I was a kid. Little tip that may help you if you do not already know, if you push down on the stick you steer with sparks will point to the nearest gem. I had a hard time getting to 100% without that little nugget of information. Sometimes you just can't see the green gems when they're in the grass. Super Mario Bros. 3. It's still my favorite game of all time. I sold my copy of SMB3 to a mail-in game reseller for a new game. My mom hadn't finished the game yet and it was a game we played together. She was mad. She is gone now and this is one of my biggest regrets. I was a stupid thoughtless kid. Edit, thanks for the comments guys. Some made me laugh, some made me cry. All were encouraging. We all make mistakes like that. Don't let it weigh on you. Duck Hunt Did you know on the NES if a second player joins they can play as the ducks? I learned this from Reddit, now I need to find an NES to try it on. Crash Bandicoot CTR for me We played that game constantly with the 4 player adapter. Bowling bombs for life. Better game than Mario Kart. And that includes the later versions. World of Warcraft You are 33. I have the same answer. I'm 36. Wow released right after I graduated high school. Pitfall. It was the coolest video game ever made up to that point. Edit, hello fellow pitfallers. I bought Pitfall when it came out in 1982, and 15 year old me spent countless hours trying to jump, run and swing to the other end of the jungle. Remember having to take a photograph of your high score, get the film developed, then send the paper photo in to log your high score. Did you get the patch? I wish I still had mine. Diablo 2. I also waited for a while for it to come out. I played Diablo 2 with my mom when I was in Kaidurgadi. She later told me that she only played it because it was so cute how I cheered for her and without me she would always get lost in the dungeons, D. Snake Game on Nokia. Space Impact on Nokia. Tetris. My guess is you're between 15 and 60, P. I still have my Tetris on my original Game Boy. I used to play every night as a kid and not go to bed till I cleared a minimum of 100 lines. I play now on my kid's Switch and they can't believe how good I am at it. LOL. Did you ever read about the woman who would casually play it on Game Boy on road trips? Her husband was a reporter and was doing a story on people trying to set old school gaming records and discovered his wife's usual is about 1.5x the world record. Miecraft. You're gonna have to be more specific. I've played around 1.7 forward slash 1.8 till the infamous 1.9 update which is still incredibly new to me. Super Mario 64. Yes. And Banjo-Kazooie. Yoshi's Island. Heroes of Might and Magic 3. 
Edit. Wow I didn't know so many people played forward slash still plays this game. Thank you for all the love on this comment. I haven't played Ho MM3 in years and this makes me want to play again. Starcraft Brood War. Toss up between this and Diablo 2 for me. You must construct additional pylons. Skyrim. So you're between 8 and 82 years old. The video game I played the most doesn't even come close to revealing my age. The first video game I played probably does though. Edit. Played the most. Total War. Rome. Played first, Super Mario BROs. Same here. I wasn't setting my playtime limit when was I was young. I really got into RimWorld and Crusade Kings 2, as an adult. Super Smash BROs. I played Oregon Trail on a 3.5 inch floppy, the computer had a physical lock, it would boot up past a certain point if it was locked. Where in the world is Carmen Sadigo is another popular 3.5 in floppy game I played a lot of. Some other more obscure titles from back then I liked were Numbers Crunches and Midnight Mystery, called something like that. Counter-Strike, Source. Hell yeah, surprised I haven't seen more CSS forward slash 1.6 comments. 1.6 shaped my entire life. Started playing when I was 11. Made my own servers when I was 14. Servers needed a website, so I made one. Servers needed a static IP and some fun mods to gain a player following, so I had to learn some basic networking and how to install and configure mods. Met awesome people along the way too. I still play CS to this day, when I am almost 32, and I work in IT. Would never have happened without CS. Baldia's Gate Halo 2 I might have a college degree if Halo 2 never existed. I had a midterm I absolutely could not miss on release day. The class was practically empty, and missing was my buddy who skipped the test to stay up all night to play. I left the campus like a bat out of hell when I finished the test. Dag, had to scroll way further for this than I thought I'd have to. Sonic Sonic 3 plugged in on top of the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge was a big one for me. Doom and Duke Ukem Lemmings TF2 Edit, Team Fortress 2 TF2 is enough. If you know. You know. Sadvik. So you're either 30 or 15. Everquist. Same. It's not even close. Most addictive game I ever played. A friend of mine was a raid leader and would piss in pickle jars on raid days. Not to mention the sheer amount of time spent camping a mob. I probably spent more time waiting on shit than actually playing anything. Lol. Evercrack. Pokemo. Blue version. I still remember the constant rumors of the legendary green version that was only available in Japanese, and all the kids who apparently had a big brother who lets them play it. Well, there was a green version. And it was only available in Japan. Far more credible than Mew Under the Truck or Blue Chew, Edit, or Pika Blue, which was of course just Marill. Sims 4. Maybe Sims 3, I accidentally resetted my hour count once, so it could be more than in Sims 4. My S forward slash O was blown away by how many hours I put into Sims while somehow hardly every playing the game. 90% of my time goes into creative mode, making Sims and building things around town. Wait, that's not what you're supposed to do. Just build your dream house, move your Sims in, realize 10 minutes later that you're bored and that you can build an even better house, and repeat. Same. The house building could be its own game and I would buy and play it. Pokemo Gold Gen 2 was peak Pokemo for me. I was in 4th grade when Blue and Red released in the US, and I played those as well. Gen 2 just blew me away though. HGSS are still the best remakes of any game ever. Lol the gold standard, I never knew you can perfect perfection. I grew up with RBY when I was 4 and barely had reading comprehension. OGGBC with the see-through purple. Fun fact, my parents had aces from their wedding, and I only ever played Duck Hunt, and Super Mario, so I never knew about saving. Wasn't until I was in third grade and made a friend who traded Pokemo with me for the first time that I realized I had been restarting every single fucking time. I read that Gen 2 was what they wanted Gen 1 to be. Kind of fits since silver forward slash gold forward slash crystal include the entire Kato region. Well. 
Does wow really count, though? It's kinda like if someone asked your favorite food and your answer is meth. You got a problem with eating meth. I can narrow this down to 24 to 60, ah, uh, back in Qatar I raided with a 66 year old proper British grandmother. She took up the game to play with her grandson who moved to the US. He quit and she stuck with it. I also knew a couple who had their 11 year old son do their dailies for them. He loved it. Wow has a large age range, D. Same answer for me and I am 20. It's probably the best video game to hide your age. Now if they asked which expansion you started playing, that's a whole different ball game. Frogger. Command and Conquer, Half-Life, Counter-Strike, Need for Speed, Porsche, Warcraft 3. Mine is Need for Speed, Porsche and Least. No one remembers or appreciates that game properly. I played the shit out of that thing, mod, cracked, Etsy, etc. The graphics were so good, then, and the Code D Asia track had to be the most beautiful. Thanks for listing it.